Hey church family, great to see you again and great to be with you for another Daily Devo. Today we're going to read out of Acts chapter 9 verses 32 through 35. And let's go straight to the scripture. And the Bible says, as Peter was traveling from place to place, he also came down to the saints who lived in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who was paralyzed and had been bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. And immediately he got up. So all who lived in Lydda and Sharon saw him and turn to the Lord. Let's think about this for a minute. Here, Peter is out traveling. He's, he's out going different places, doing ministry, and sharing the gospel, just as Jesus told us to do. He's out sharing the gospel, spreading the word, and he comes across this guy that has been paralyzed for eight years. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, he says, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. And that's key because as Peter's spreading the word, he's also making sure that he's true to the word by ensuring that it's not Peter who's healing. It's Jesus Christ who is healing. So Aeneas gets up and he takes his bed and he moves on. And then the scripture says in 35, so all who lived in Lydda and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. See, Aeneas becomes an example He's been healed by the power of Jesus Christ and is now an example of all that power we find in our Lord and Savior Jesus. Man, what an amazing thing. What, what it would have been like to have been there to see some of these things go on. But how does that relate to us today? See, we have that same power with us that Peter had back then. We have it with us today, so as we are out traveling and doing ministry and sharing the gospel, these things, we, that healing power is there and we get to share it. And think of it this way. We are healed by Jesus Christ. We are healed of our sins. We are, we are broken, but we are repaired through our Lord and Savior. And the wonderful thing there is, is that now we get to be just like Aeneas and be an example for those around us to look at. One of the great things I get to do, one of the blessings that I get to do, and I know you've heard about this from Pastor Mark, but the Bradford Clinic. I get to go over to the Bradford Clinic on Sundays. And when I go over there, there are two men that usually join me. And these two men, Billy Walther and Ryan Coleman, they come with me and they share their stories. They share their testimony. They share how Jesus healed them and how Jesus helped them through their time. Of struggle. And I get to stand back and I get to watch these two faithful men share that story and see the faces and see the love out of the others that they find. And they say, wow. And they want to know Jesus more and more. And as we are at the Bradford and we share, we see these changed lives and these people come to Christ. We've had people come to Christ. We've had people asked to be baptized. It's been amazing. And as I read the scripture, I just thought of how Billy and Ryan are prime examples of how they, they were healed by Jesus and they got up and they were just like Aeneas. They were, they were proof that the power is real and that we have it and we can live by it and we can live through it. And it's such a blessing. Church family, I encourage you to take up your mat, get up, go be an example of what the Holy Spirit has done for you. Be an example of how Christ has changed your life. Share the gospel and love one another. Church family, I love you. It's great to see you again. See you soon.